shouldn't we right now go plant a billion, hundred billion trees and tell everyone to plant trees? Isn't that always supposed to be a good solution? So there was an amazing paper in the journal Nature last year. And what they did was estimate uh, how many trees were on the planet and how many were on the planet prior to industrialization. And the numbers came out that there were six trillion trees on the planet prior to industrialization. We now have moved to only three trillion trees. Okay. So the first thing is that we've halved the number of trees on the planet. Mm -hmm. But the interesting thing is that all the ecologists were absolutely amazed that there were this number of trees. Because again, as ecologists, we work on small plots, etc. We see a forest. We never actually see the whole of the actual biome that's covering the planet. And so again, what's interesting is I would say there are so many opportunities, particularly now that people are moving into the urban area, to rewild. And this has become uh, an interesting debate, and actually to start to replant. Now, the debate then, however, is what sort of trees do you replant? Do you replace what was previously there? Yeah. Or do you say, hang on, I know climate has changed and is changing. Do I plant trees that are more appropriate now for the climate and the water stress that's going to occur in this area? And that's a really emotive issue because, again, you're starting to get... Uh, different trees in locations that you never expected them. And also, we have no idea what's going to happen to what's now called novel ecologies, because you're mixing plants that haven't been mixed before. Guy, would that make a difference in any way in if you planted 100 billion trees? <laughs> One of Derek Jensen's conclusions about civilization is summarized in just a few words. Forests greet us and deserts dog our heels. Those six billion, six trillion? Six trillion trees were big. The three trillion trees are small. The old growth is gone for all practical purposes. So we have three trillion toothpicks, but that's not nearly as much carbon as was found in the six trillion trees. And the ecosystems in the wake of the deforestation of the six trillion is absolutely devastating. Do I think it would make a difference to, to secure some carbon in trees temporarily? Remember, they die. Um, sure, temporarily, but it's a temporary fix and it requires an enormous amount of energy. And we're, we're running out of fossil energy, or not really running out so much as heating, as hitting the peak of the extractable energy. So it takes an enormous amount of energy, and that's yet another means of maintaining the heat engine that is civilization. I hate to keep bringing that up, but it just keeps to keep coming up. Sorry about that. 